my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a kind of different video for you all. As you can see I've already got my foundation on, my whole base, eyebrows, the whole lot apart from my eyes. Now that is because today I'm going to be doing a different kind of video. I've noticed I use my hands quite a lot. So yesterday I went to Primark and kind of just wanted some new eyelashes really and I saw these ones which are the Aladdin ones from Disney. Now I then saw that they had like a whole makeup range um, for Aladdin. Primark are known for their collaboration with Disney, um, with their clothes, makeup, shoes etc and when I saw the eyelashes I then saw their makeup palettes. Today we are going to be trying out the Aladdin eyeshadows. For this I've not swatched any of the colours yet. I have had a little look in to see what the layout is, what it's all about, um, but other than that I've not tried it so this is obviously a first. Yesterday at Primark I got this jumper. This was actually supposed to be £7 and I believe it's like quite new in unless I've just not been to Primark for ages and this has been in for such a long time. I went up to the tail expecting overall to pay like 20 quid for like a handful of things and it came to 16 and realised this top was £3 instead of 7 so... So yeah, today's video is going to be a review on these two products. Obviously, when I've looked at the lashes, as you can see, they kind of look like they're going to be really hard to put on. If you've ever used the Isla um, 3D mink lashes, I think they are, they're firstly, when you first use them, quite hard to put on. Um, but obviously, when you use them quite a few times, they get a bit better. Um, so these kind of look a bit like that, but hopefully they're a lot better and a better outcome. Um, obviously with the palette, like I said, I've not looked at any of them. I've just looked at the layout. I've not swatched them, so I will be swatching them for you today. Um, all the guide gave me was just colours on the back here, which when I opened it, they were a very true representation, but they're very blurry colours. So you can just see the kind of colour, not what they actually are. If you want to watch this review, then carry on watching. Okay, so firstly, we're going to open this. So I've got a fresh set of clean brushes and I have already primed my eyes. They're ready to go. So this is what the palette looks like. You've got a great range of colours. Some of them link directly to the film. Some of them are kind of like magic Aladdin style related. So these are all the colours here. As you can see. Oh my god, so just because I was singing that song then, I went to go see Avengers the other day. Um, went to go see it on... When did I see it? Wednesday night. So at my local cinema, they did a double bill, which basically they showed at half past eight, they showed Infinity War, and then at midnight, they showed Endgame. And... Holy if you are a big Marvel fan like me, seriously, you need to go and see Endgame. I went to go see it again today, which today is Saturday, the day I'm filming it. Then I'm going to go see it tomorrow, which by the time you see this, it will be Sunday. So I will have seen it three times. And today I cried so much. Like I cried when I went to go see it on the midnight viewing so much because it was, I wasn't expecting a lot of it. A lot of it you were a bit like, oh my god, what the hell? But it's it made every I think it'll make every Marvel fan really happy. It's a great close to the Avengers in general. Um it's like heartwarming and it's so cool and yeah, I absolutely loved it and I cried more today and I'll probably cry more tomorrow because it's just so sad and happy. But yeah, let's get into the video. So the first thing we're going to use is the lightest shade. So we're going to take Dreamer on an M456 brush. I'm going to swipe that across just to set the base. I'm sorry if I look awfully powder. Pow- what? Hello? Dude. So gonna take a whole new world on a M441 brush okay so that's going on nice and light okay so a little really does go a long way especially for red brown yeah so the camera kind of cut out for and I don't know why weird 
what I was saying though is that this brown comes up a bit more orangey on the skin. Only just started and I need a snack break. Mm. So with this palette, it's quite hard to know what look you're gonna make because it's very shimmery based instead of matte based. So it's quite hard. I don't know how they work in the eyes. So I think we might try Starry Night in the crease. So we're gonna take another M411 brush. It looks in person that it goes on quite patchy. Which is not what anybody wants, to be fair. I never put shimmers in my crease either, so this is a very strange experience. I think instead I'm going to take an M456 brush. And I'm just going to pat it in instead. I do not know what to do with shimmers because they just go on so hard. That's like the bad part about the palette is it's very shimmer base it's kind of like you'd use this palette to kind of go into another palette you'd use the shimmers at a later stage if that makes sense so i don't really know if there's much i can do to be fair like it doesn't look bad on camera but i'd need to mix i think a bit more of a whole new world to just blend it out a bit I'm just gonna kind of deepen that up a bit if that does anything for me so these colors are definitely ones that you have to build up to get to the required color that you want it to be um which is okay i'm not complaining about that that's fine i just think maybe more mattes but i am going out and testing myself yes we're gonna take young love on a m456 now purples are very risky sometimes they can be really good sometimes they can be really bad obviously the one purples i love are the james charles purples he's really found a purple that is like on on the money i'm gonna blend As you can see here, it's not taking well. It's quite strange. I don't know why it's not taking well. Very strange that we have to deal with it. It might just be my eyelids in general because I know a lot of colours that I do use don't really take too well, which is annoying. I think I'm going to do a cut crease. You can't really do much else um, if you're going to stick to this. You can't really can't really do much else apart from use the shimmers maybe on the outer corners but i'm gonna kind of stick it to quite a cherry kind of look with a bit of purple <laughs> um because i feel like that's the way that it complements this skin yeah okay so to cut the eye base we're gonna be taking the makeup revolution conceal and correct um concealer in the colour C0, which is just white. I want to make sure that the colours I put on are really um, bright and vibrant. So we're just going to take it on an M124 brush and we're just going to start to cut out the base. Even just without the colours on it this white just blends it out really nicely I think if this one doesn't go away I think I'm gonna scream I'm really bad at a cut crease so I'm very sorry for that that look okay I honestly don't know I'm just gonna go in with the purple again and just blend it through oh see ski we're just gonna have to deal with that for now kids okay this is how i spend my saturday evenings my whole family is out right now my sister's with her friends my mom's with her friends and i'm sat at home filming this look and then probably gonna spend my whole night eating noodles and watching supergirl and maybe britain's got talent at half eight what time is it now half five i don't know 
Oh, we're gonna go in now with a new color. So we're gonna take Shooting Star, this nice like pink color, and I'm gonna take that on an M166 brush, and we're kind of just gonna roll it around a bit. It does not come on the brush at all, so it's kind of one of them I feel like it is a lot for the glitter glue, and I'm just gonna stomp that down on the inner corner here. Hopefully it'll take to um, the tackiness of the white because that's kind of what we need right now. Hopefully it works. It's working a little bit. I feel like it is one of the ones that you may have to build up a little bit to get the desired colour that you want. One thing I can say is that it falls out a lot. Um, fallout is... So yeah, that's one thing that I'd definitely say be careful about because... It's only a little bit, but still, I think it'd probably work better maybe as a highlighter. We're then going to take the colour Freedom and they're just the same brush and we're just going to apply that on the middle third. Now that comes on a lot better. Ba, 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 ba. So now we're going to go in with the colours underneath the eyes. So I'm going to take a small M506 brush and we're just going to take the colour Young Love and apply it lightly underneath the eye. So what you could do is just leave the look here, add a bit of mascara and eyeliner and you're done. However, I bought eyelashes so we're going to try these out. So these are the false lashes I'm using today. They are very dramatic, very pretty. Um, these are two pounds, which is very good. The eyelash glue I'm gonna be using is the Isla Lash Glue. Um, this is the latex free lash glue. Now, if you are wondering, mine's not latex free, what the hell? This is because if you buy a pack of the Jordan Woods eyelashes, you get a sample of the latex free, I think it's in the Jordan Woods one, like I got mine in the Jordan Woods um, eyelash packet, um, I don't know if they're trying it in all of them, but I got it in like a little booklet thing, um, So and it's it's been great, it sticks really quickly, so I use that lash glue all the time, my lashes stay on all day all night and it's just really good so i'm gonna go quickly get some scissors cut these lashes down to size because they are huge and then we'll pop them on so you only need a couple of seconds for the latex the latex free glue to lash because it's already so sticky it's just really good now they are very long on the outer corner but they look really nice. The only problem is they didn't have any other lash styles for this. Um, I don't know if these are the only style that they do or if they've got more, if they've got more natural ones, if they've got way more dramatic ones or if they've got like an in-between. Um, but these were the only ones that were in my store. But to be fair, my store is pretty. <laughs> it's in White Rose in Leeds. If you've ever been, you know that the Primark there is probably the worst. Anyway, that stuck on really well, actually. That's really nice. I like that. They don't say what they're made out of, but, like, they feel really nice. They're really soft. Like, because they're so dark, you don't have to add any mascara onto the lashes. I added mascara onto my lashes just because I wanted the... I just wanted them to blend in, but you really don't have to, like... If you look... You don't have to put mascara on the lashes, which is really good. Uh, Primark eyelashes in general are really good. Like, I used to use them all the time because they're like a pound or you can get like a pack of five for four quid. Like, it's sick. But it kind of like, you kind of have to buy in bulk because I don't go to Primark lot, you see, unless I go shopping. And normally if I just need to do a quick shop, I just go into town. But these, I know that they're going to last a long time. They're going to last, they're probably just the same as Isla lashes or Tatty lashes and these were two pounds you do get your money's worth and I think that's really good like look at them eyelashes they're so nice they're really pretty I like them I am a fan of these eyelashes for sure these eyelashes are just amazing I think that is pretty much this look finished the palette is eight pound the eyelashes are two pounds it's a great price for these products 
um one thing i would say is that i wish the palette did have more matte colors but you probably do get that in maybe the other palettes that you do aladdin's the way forward the eyelashes do not feel heavy at all they really make the look fantastic this top so comfy as well so thank you primark because it's like wool underneath so it's like blanket material mm, don't run i can't speak anymore i'm tired and that means it's time for me to make some food which is probably just gonna be noodles so guys if you have enjoyed this video then please hit the like button down below and smash the subscribe button as well and the notification bell so you never miss a post also comment down below and tell me what you think and what videos you would like to see also follow me on all my social medias so you never miss out on what i do in my day-to-day -day life tell me what videos obviously like i said that you'd like to see let me know if you buy this palette and um, what you think of it if you think it's any good what looks you create yeah i hope you have enjoyed it and i will see you next week see ya